If you caught the Olympic zone last week, you may have watched a story about a new sport that could potentially be featured in future games. Yeah, the sport continues to grow right here in Maine at the high school and college levels. News Center Maine Sam Rogers tells us how the growth of eSports is now reaching the classroom. Students will return to Thomas College in a few weeks, and while the campus remains in summer mode, the staff is in work mode. Well, we always want to try to be responsive to the market, what the market is doing, as well as what students are interested in. And Provost Thomas Edwards says his students are interested in eSports. There are more viewers for competitive eSports than there might be for the Super Bowl. That's the kind of statistic that I think will speak across generations. eSports, yes, competitive video gaming continues to grow in Maine. And starting next fall at Thomas College, you can major in it. This is an industry that's taking off. If we want to prepare students for careers, this is one of the ways to go. The eSports and Gaming Administration major will cover the industry itself, the business behind video games, and how to plan competitive events. We're all just kind of waiting for the fall to get here finally. Playing video games is something more main high schools are doing. Sean Stackhouse is the eSports liaison to the MPA and is a collegiate and professional broadcaster for the game Rocket League. What is basically car soccer in a dome with rocket powered battle cars. Roughly 30 schools compete in high school esports in the state, with more coming online each season. Stackhouse believes someday soon we could see state championships played in front of fans. Listen to the crowd, and it will remind you very much of a lot of traditional sports crowds. Not only will Thomas College offer an esports major next fall, it will also have a brand new esports facility. Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine.